Hello, I'm Mike Gossard. I'm with Gossard Yachts. I'd like to welcome you to Annapolis and uh, I'd like to show you today the Gossard 44 Mark II catch. The interiors are completely custom built right from start to finish. We have three major variants uh, and, then, and then we modify those things to sort of match the needs of the customer. Okay, so we're in the forward master stateroom of the boat. As you can see, it's a large double berth island, so it's almost a walk-around berth. We have uh, hanging lockers on both sides. Overhead, we have a large octagonal hatch, which is an option that this customer is quite taken by. We have an ensuite head here, which is just a head and a vanity. And then on the opposite side, we have a separate shower, which is fully enclosed. In the main salon, we try to get as much function out of the area as possible. Typically, you would find a fixed table, which we occasionally do depending on the requirements of the owner. But in this case, we've kept the table down in a coffee table position, and then the customers, when they're on their own, would use the two-place dinette, which doubles as a nav station. When you have additional company, we can convert the coffee table into a full dining table, and I'll demonstrate that. The table comes out from behind the seat back, locks in place. Now you have seating for six or seven. The nav station is laid out in a typical fashion. These days you have many, many different types of electronics. This boat's equipped with a chart plotter and a radar which interfaces over to the TV. As you can see behind the electrical panel, everything's carefully laid out. All the wiring is identified with uh, color heat shrink and it's numbered and that matches a legend which we have in the owner's manual. We use this open such that you can have a better view of the electronics from here. It also gives you relatively decent access on the back of the locker. In special cases, we can actually make the table lower down and this all convert into a berth. Same thing happens in the main salon. We can actually design the settee so that they hinge or pull right out over top of the coffee table. You can see here we've built a, a bar for the client, fitting real glasses so in such a, a way that they will not break. We also actually match the uh, bottle assignments. We actually custom build the holders. Any good cruising boat needs a good galley. We keep the galleys aft generally in our designs. This is the quietest part of the boat, as many of you know. The stove is covered with a partition which slides back and then clips up. This protects the woodwork behind when you're actually cooking. We have a freezer outboard. Both these particular units on this boat uh, have their own separate cooling units. This would be the guest cabin in this particular configuration. These berths can be converted into sea berths. Again, they're at the right spot in the boat. They're the most comfortable, or very close to the most comfortable, quietest point in the boat. So we equip them with lee claws so that they can be used when you're passage making. There's a hanging locker immediately outboard with drawers and additional storage underneath. Engine access is very important. We do that through lifting the companionway steps, and then we remove the cushions and lift open two panels, which expose the entire drive line from front to back. Just forward of the engine, we have bilge access. In here, we uh, put all the primary through hulls and filters for the engine, the generator, in this case, air conditioning also. You can see here, we have a battery locker. Now, these 1,200 amp hour batteries are industrial lead acid, and they have a special rehydration system to make them a lot, lot easier to maintain. Essentially, all you do is uh, have your distilled water, you put the pump in the, in the distilled water, and you plug the system together, and you pump until the uh, little balls stop, uh, stop flowing. This completely takes care of actually putting any water loss back into the batteries. Immediately beside the batteries, we place our inverter as close as possible. It's a battery charger as well. This is one of those new uh, co-generation inverters which syncs up with the uh, sine wave on the generator or the shore power. Well, ventilation is very important. Keeping the bugs out is equally important. And for that, we have uh, designed a special companionway screen arrangement. Uh, on deck, the boat is, uh, is designed and set up uh, for shorthanded sailing. All the controls are led aft in easy use. We've actually brought all of the uh, controls that you'd have to use on a regular basis back to an electric winch. That includes the furling for the main, the outhaul, and the headsails, so that you basically just load the winch and press a button. The furling lines are brought uh, from the forward uh, up through underneath the deck and then onto the cabin top so that as you look, uh, you can actually look forward and see the sail that you're furling as opposed to try and pull it sideways or from behind. Uh, the decks are open. Uh, we move our shrouds outboard to have easy access through. You'll notice we have uh, a nice bulwark for uh, safe footing when the boat is underway. Ample cleats, ample ventilation. While we normally do stainless steel hatches as standard, this uh, client has uh, decided to go more traditional with the appearance of the boat with the wooden handrails and uh, two very lovely wooden skylights, including the octagonal skylight on the bow. So thank you for uh, taking the time to allow us to share our boat with you. If you would like additional information, you can find it at our website, www.gozzard.com.